Welcome back to what's new on this gorgeous Thursday afternoon. The Union Home Mortgage Cleveland Marathon, of course, is Sunday. And tonight we're live downtown. We're getting ready for the big race where right down here on Mall C where a lot of the action is going to take place. Yeah, and we're going to take advantage of this beautiful weather while we have it, of course. We've got the green grass behind us and mm -hmm. getting folks ready for the event. I know the packet pickup is going to be taking place very soon. Jack Staff, the president of the Cleveland Marathon, joins us live. And Jack, first let's talk about some numbers okay. because uh, numbers are very important. Jay loves numbers yes, even more right. than I do. This <laughs> is right. the 45th year for the race. Right. How has it changed over all these years? Well. It's changed a great deal because it's become more of a uh, an event for an everyday person. When I first started this, the majority of the emphasis was focused on the elites. Yeah. You know, and in fact, this race has the fa fastest time in the marathon in the state. We have uh, just under 210, and we we worked at that. We tried to find the right runners and and the right uh, pacers to get them through. Now it's more of a, an everyday race, and we've added two other events. We've added a 10k and a 5k, so it's for everyone. It's it's getting it's getting better. It's getting in shape. It's getting to be part of it. And our pro focus this year, in the last two years, is that it's all about Cleveland. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is a, this is a race that brings uh, the city to its feet, and it's sort of like the recognition of, of springtime. It's been like that for all 45 years. Yeah. Yeah. It is like the recognition yeah. of beautiful weather. Yeah. How many runners are you expecting Sunday compared to where you were well, when, it, when it all began? It uh, well, it's about we're getting about as many as we did when we began. Uh, really? The COVID thing has still stalled a lot of the uh, growth or regrowth of, of the races. Mm -hmm. We don't know why. Most races are down about 30 percent. We're going to have 8,000 people who have signed up. Now, how many actually uh, show up is a different story. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they're going to. They're coming from 46 different states. Wow. Oh my goodness! Uh, nine different countries, uh, and uh, the majority are 52% women, 48% men. Go cool girls! Th that's happened in the last 10 years. That's something. It's different. Yeah. Wow. Th th there's more women runners than men. Well, it's obviously pretty cool too. There's so many people coming into town for the race, and we get to show our city off a little bit. What will the runners be seeing? How has this uh, course been set up this year? It's been set up to go by everything that's famous in Cleveland. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's all about Cleveland. If you if you followed us on social media, every week we would start off talking about this is Cleveland. This is what Cleveland's about, mm -hmm. and it's it's a way. And, and and the reason for that is you have a we we now have a title sponsor who is from Cleveland. Yeah. They're all about Cleveland. Uh, we've made a couple other changes. We're at the Western Hotel that has a very good flavor for Cleveland and the way they present themselves. So it, it's about Cleveland. Uh, it's about recovering from COVID. It's getting back to, to what was real. That's and that's awesome. good to see. Jack, yeah. thank you so much for stopping by. Best thank of luck with the race me. this weekend. Okay, and thanks for you. making the course go right by Channel 3. All right. Can't <laughs> wait. We're going to be right out in the, the front yard. Right. Hey, baby, Matt. Matt, run faster. Go, Matt, go. All right. Thanks so much, Jack. Great to see you. Yep.